Hello everyone. Today we are going to show how to download PHP from Microsoft Admin Portal using eDiscover. By this way, an admin can download any user's mailbox on a PHP file. Do that. Go to my panel. Going to compliance portal. And to do the PST run, we need to perform two things. One is to assign an discovery permission. Second one is create a discovery case. First, go to the permissions. We are looking for roles in Microsoft Purview solution. Click on roles. We click on eDiscovery Manager. So these are the roles. Assign the role to eDiscovery Administrator. Let's click on Edit. Choose any eDiscovery Administrator. Add. Let's say this is my admin account. I want to provide my admin account to this role. So the role assign is done. The first one is complete. Now we are going to perform an eDiscovery case. Click on eDiscovery. Click on standard now we create a case give it a name let's say it's a pst file click on save click on the case and we do the search under this case we are going to do a new search. Say, give it a name, PHT export. Next, and we perform these two exchange mailboxes. Now we need to show the account. I'm going to perform this for this ID, which is also my admin ID. So I'm doing this. Next, click on next. Now, I click on submit. Just for the record, let's just show my mailbox. Which mailbox I want to do a PST, you know, backup. These are my mails. So, yeah, the new search created, done. So as you can see, it is starting. Fresh in here. Might take some time. Depends on the mailbox. You can click on it and show the status. The search is starting. It depends on uh, on the size of the mailbox. As I have only few of emails, so it shouldn't take uh, much long time. As you can see, it is completed. But if you have um, 10 GB, 15 GB, or more than 50 GB mail, it takes uh, some time. Click on that export. See, I have 9.61 MB of data here. Click on actions and click on export results. So, this way, I want to make sure how do I export the result so I want to do all items in a one PST file for each mailbox the total item is 9.61 right let's click on export let's 
it's an error let's wait for some times we just create the search so it might take some times if you encounter this error please note that this is nothing uh, to be serious it just need more time to process uh, search is already done so you can log out and again log in to the admin portal and look for this so i'm going to wait for some times and and search again to this PST export i will perform this uh, option again let's see what happens okay we have just wait for some time so now we are going to try the same process from incognito mode see it solve our problem or not discovery Define. Click on export. So exporting here. Searches here. Export. So uh, we are going to open export. Okay, a job has been created. So yeah, if you have faced this error. Uh, you will what you can do is you can again log on as an incognito mode or you can clear your browser cache and that issue will be solved so now we are going to export the job is created in the export folder but export and as you can see it is scheduling it will take some time It might take some times depends on the search result and the size so please note that how the export is done uh, it might take some time it depends on your mailbox if you have more than 40 GB mailbox uh, mailbox sizes uh, in, in your uh, PST file so it takes uh, roughly four or five hours so it's done now what we have to do is to click on download results click on download there is a tool that open also note that if you are using Google Chrome or other browser this tool will not be downloaded so it's better to use your Microsoft Edge account to log on to your admin portal. So now it's done. So here we have to paste an export key, and export key is happening situated in here. Copy to the clipboard here, paste it there. Now, where we wanted to download our file, click on browse. There is desktop. I want to download to the desktop. Click on OK. There are advanced options. So I can customize the PST files name. I don't need to, just keep it in here. Click on start. Download the result, it also takes long time if you have a lots of email. So as you can see, I have only nine megabyte of email, so it shouldn't take much more time. It's already downloaded. Complete. I can close this one, close this one, and also I can verify here my desktop file is downloaded exchange folder 
and this is my PST file. So we need to verify now is that my PST or not. Definitely it's my PST, but to verify the result. So to do that, show you I have this amount of email. So this two are in one. Let's see. So I can open my Outlook, go to Files, Settings, go to Data File, and I am adding the PST in here, change and the PST one, close it one. Now I open the PST. Be on primary one top of information store here and yes there is an my inbox here you can see there's my inbox fold so these are the mail on my inbox and these are the email here timestamp and everything is right as you can see I export my email in a PST file along with that PST if I have more item I would find that in here inbox so my other item it will be on here so it search everything just give one heads of what settings what things they he Try to put yeah, spools and everything. So yeah, this is my inbox one. Wanted to get a copy of my inbox. I found it this way. So is it this? We are using a standard one for is it a standard? It is called a premium works on Microsoft E3, five, E3 and F3 licenses. So if you have this license, this is discovery, discovery premium will be activated. This way you can download PST by using eDiscovery from Microsoft Admin Portal. Thank you.